Oh. Are you guys? Okay. Then they started to walk down to see where they have landed. But whenever they did, they realized that they were in a bad place. Because they heard of this so-called thing called the tiny maze. And they saw it. They were st The red one and the brown one decided to go inside. They turned super tiny. And one died from the aliens. <laughs> and then, whenever they died, he was somewhere in the depths. But whenever he got out, he turned impossible again. Then he went back in, and then if you look at it, they are both running. The monsters are pretty far away from them. So whatever they would do is if they got close, they would die instantly. One of them did die. Is that they both died? Then they realized we really shouldn't be doing that. The brown one said, but the red one didn't listen. I was like, wait, and then he already turned tiny. Red died. Brown was about to die. But they were both running after him. Brown quickly escaped as fast as he could. Little did he know that he escaped. That they were super close to being dead. Then the brown one said, you shouldn't really be in here. Then the red one said, well, what are we supposed to do? We've been trapped. Our, our spaceship has cracked. So we can't really do anything. But if this could actually make us tiny, we could be so tiny that our lungs wouldn't know what to do and they would be able to breathe in space. But then they were running and running and running till one of the aliens picked up on them. And then then they're running, and running and running and running. They were so close to the end that they could smell the end. That has a timer on it. Then, when they did, they tried to release. Oh god, it's fucking. But the brown was, was getting a monster so that they would fall underneath. And when they did, they turned to super tiny. When they got super tiny, they felt weird. Their bodies were tingling. They felt like they were gonna puke. But they didn't puke. What they did was they 
gasped for air. When they did that, they got super exhausted because they just had to run through a maze. And then what they did was they got out. Then they realized they're going to have to run a lot more because of how tiny they are. And when they were tiny, they felt sick. When they felt sick, they couldn't really move. When they couldn't move, they would die of exhaustion. And when they did, they were dead. And they didn't really know what to do. All they did was sit there, and then they went up. When they did go up, they were on top of the map. What they did was, one of them pushed the other one off as like a joke. Because they thought they had low gravity. Then he got pushed off by red. Then red says, I don't want to do this. How about you? And then red falls and falls and falls. And then he he's alive because there's comfort. Then... What Brown does, he's like, hmm, I don't really want to. But then Red realizes this is blocked off. We can't get in anymore. That must have been like a one-time thing. So then he realizes the guard lets him in. He goes up. <laughs> then they both fall off and rest. Almost. They knew that they weren't going to survive for long because they had no food or water. Then, 12 days later, they both died. They both fell off of where they last were and died. What they did was they didn't have any water and they tried to go to their spaceship. They both fell and they died. And then the red one fell. The red one fell. He fell down one step, then he kept on sliding out of nowhere, and then soon as you know, he saves himself. And the brown one is still alive, because he didn't die from the impact. He was going down to meet his friend, or he could have done something evil. They both decided that they wouldn't go to city. Cause they didn't. They wanted to go to the wrecked ship so they can get wa water. Cause there's water on their wrecked ship. What they did was they made it up. Then they hopped and hopped and hopped and hopped, hopped and hopped. They did a lot of hopping, and as soon as you know it, they got to their crash site. Or did they know that they act, they went, the crash site was right here. They could hear rain. Could hear rain. Then they realized this giant pool of water here. Started drinking from it. And then they finally got out and they rebuilt their rocket. 
and they've made it back home. And they made it happily ever after.